All right, the first part of uh, Exotic Tension, this first part of the solo, I kind of start off with a pedal point type idea. And that's an interesting way uh, to kind of just pedal around a few notes just to create a theme almost. So we start like... You know, and then you can move that concept anywhere. And that's very important when you're playing is to try to take a concept, move it around, try different things with it. Try major, try minor, try diminished, you know, never stick with one thing. It's very important to expand and always try new things. So, you know, we start off with that kind of pedal point type idea. This track is in the key of C minor. So the solo is in C minor. And, um, and I'm kind of just targeting it around the C minor scale. And then I grab this this F note here, and I really bend it up to, to G. And then I, I, after I hit the G, I bring it back down to F, because I'm just trying to hit that note and come back. Now, it's important to know also the chords in this, uh, in this track, C minor, A flat major, B flat major, E flat major, A flat major, D diminished, G sus4, and G major. Now when that diminished comes up, you know, you can really create a lot of tension over that diminished chord, and I'll, I'll show you as we get to that part. So, you know, we do this bend, and then, you know, into the next part, we're just kind of playing in C minor, C natural minor. <laughs> you know, right inside that typo. So after the intro, that's a target note, you know, right over that chord, I'm just really trying to hit that E flat, I'm trying to hit that, uh, that G to get that tone, so. And I'm just hanging here. Uh, another target note. And really, sometimes, you know, when you're constructing these solos, you know, nobody else knows this, but you're actually hitting that note and you're waiting, you know, you're waiting for the next chord to come up. But I mean, you know, to a lot of other people, you're playing that and, and they're like, man, he's really hanging on that note. And you're thinking to yourself, yeah, I'm waiting for the next chord tone to come up. But, uh, <laughs> you know, and it just gives your mind uh, some time to think. After that, um, I, I really kind of get into some of the lower strings here and I think more people should uh, should spend time up here. You know, they're always playing up on these high register notes, but when you get in here and get some of these gritty... You know, you can get an interesting, interesting, nice gritty tone in the lower strings. And uh, after that, I walk up a, a minor scale. It's basically just a natural minor, you know, uh, the first, the second, the flat third, the fifth and the flat sixth. So it's only, um, you know, five notes, but I play these notes. And I simply take that and move it up into octaves. And, uh, and you can hear how melodic that sounds just going up the scale, but you wanna, you wanna do something after that that makes sense musically. So. Hear that, that chromatic note I threw in there? It kind of throws it off for a second, but it brings it back home because once I hit this target note G, I bend up to it from F sharp. Now, what I mean by that is that when I go here, and that creates a lot of tension, you know, because the chord lands right on the downbeat. Uh, that chord, that bend lands right on the downbeat of the chord, so. And this whole next section is nothing but bends. And each of these bends, uh, actually the first bend starts on the, the beginning of the progression on C, in C minor. So I'll do these uh, uh, slow. Now I do something here, I do a whole step and then I add a little half step on it just to create a little more tension. No 
those are our bands, and they land on, I mean, literally every one of those bands land on each of the chords, okay, starting from the first chord in the C minor. So... <laughs> I did there was uh, you know just did a scale run just in the natural minor you know just just walking down the scale almost like this progression has a very classical sound so I kind of tried to approach it like that you know um. and this last part I palm muted kind of heavy and it has a classical sound as well just still in the scale <laughs> And then um, at the end of this, this solo, I threw in a chord, which is probably uncommon, but yeah, that's how you have to think. You have to think uncommon. I threw a C minor nine there. And, uh, you know, just to cap off the solo, it just, I don't know, it doesn't sound common because you're not landing on a note. You know, I mean, pretty much that makes sense to land on a note, but why not land on a chord and just kind of state your solo that way? So... <laughs> And, um, you know, try to use some of these elements, again, into your own playing. And uh, once you have this solo down, and try your half-step bends, whole step bends, whole step and a half. I mean, after a whole step and a half, you could probably get into the territory of breaking a string. But combining all these elements together, you know, creates tension and release and uh, a little bit of an exotic sound in there, too. But still very at home in a hard rocker, you know, a hard rock ballad uh, feel. So uh, let's give that a try. <laughs> 